Hey guys, today we're doing a confession thread of sins against tabletop RPGs. So as we're doing this video, write down below your confessions and confess to Neckbeardia what you have done in RPGs. You've been a very naughty, <laughs> naughty boy. <laughs> like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you at the end of the video. Confess! First confessions. I regularly trick my roles during tournaments. I like Mark 10 better than Mark 8. I've been that guy in most of the tabletop role-playing games I've played. <laughs> I always self-insert as the average peasant rather than as the adventurers. Partially because I don't consider myself lucky enough to become an adventurer. Partially because I sympathise with the downtrodden. And partially because I want to be kidnapped, raped and forced wait. to marry a wolf girl, demigod, adventurer. Wait, that wait. fucking <laughs> took a turn. <laughs> okay, I can understand it. Maybe it's like the part we sat in that beer. Like, oh, no, but I want to be kidnapped, raped and tortured. <laughs> That's a fucking confession, I'll give you that. I am plotting to kill one of my fellow PC characters because he's a power gaming edgelord. Honestly, do it. <laughs> do it! <laughs> do it. <laughs> I kind of hate my main grip. And I'm tricking them into killing an innocent adventuring party tomorrow because the players are working for the big bad evil guy. I'd probably be forever DM. A happy one. If not for the fact that I hate all the prep work that goes with it. I love playing NPCs and making the players care about them. I love figuring out what's important to them and subtly working it into the story. I love building situations that bring out their characters' true colours and develop the bonds between them. But holy shit, do I hate the prep work. Yeah, honestly, yeah. I don't blame you. Sometimes sometimes it's just nice showing up on the day. and like, Showing you know, up and just rolling a couple of dice <laughs> yeah. and be like, hi, beach. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 yeah, I can definitely get behind that. Yeah. I'm oppie sight. I hate NPC. <laughs> I love drawing dungeons, cities, buildings, etc. And making factions and cultures. My first tabletop role-playing game was a homebrewed SCP system about surviving containment breach with no NPCs other than SCPs and mobile task force 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 <sighs> fucking abbreviations I can't do this <laughs> there, fucking abbreviations you don't want to know how many times we've attempted oh this oh my god <laughs> you don't even uh, want to know this is embarrassing now I put bare minimum NPCs fucking stop with the <laughs> abbreviations my first fetish came from Viper RSR. Monsters fucking hot elves. Mm. Well, you know, I actually well. sell some lizard girl, or not lizard girl, well, lizard girls and also snake girls on eBay. Like, Beardia so. sells porn models. Yeah. But fantasy porn models. <laughs> <laughs> they got to you. Particularly that one dude, Marinello. From there, I made the elves, the race of monsters that like to diddle them. Wait, what? Why they like to diddle elves in particular. <laughs> and the history of wars and diddling between them. <laughs> With backstory on history and magic. I use that to build the rest of the world. First are the snake people that perform generic experiments on the monsters. To create loyal thralls that serve as shock trips. Human nations at war with the snake men. Snake. Allies to humans and elves to create a whole coalition. Give each race in the coalition an opposite race that was under thrall of the snake sultans and a grudge to explain why each race hated one of the thralls and vice versa. Then I'd make similar unaffiliated factions to serve as pirates, bandits, rebels and other mavericks. Esoteric uses of magic. Individuals who have stakes in stopping the war, escalating in or profiting off of it and from all that I can create a conflict for the players to take part in. By the time I'm done, no one really notices the monsters diddling elves part <laughs> as I get <laughs> as it gets lost in the rest of the setting. I don't know, mate. See, like, I'm gonna see, notice monsters diddling elves. I, 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 I'm gonna notice it. I think I think I would definitely pick up on that. Definitely a fucking confession. I'll give yeah. him that. The only reason I use a GM screen is because I usually don't actually use the results I've rolled. I just say an enemy has hit or missed or died, depending on how long the combat is taking. And if it would make for a funny or cool moment. I only roll dice because I like the sound. <laughs> well, <laughs> well. <laughs> the sound is nice, yeah. And like, you know, sometimes it's just more fun. Yeah. <laughs> I hate how my group plays, but I won't do anything about it because I live with most of them and it would be awkward as hell not to participate on game day. Yeah, that would be awkward yeah. as fuck. Like, nah, I, mean, I'm just not I just don't want to play with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not leaving them here. I've learned over three systems that I will never play because... 
people only play D&D. The sad twist of the matter. Yeah. It is very true. You know, I, I can completely get behind the people that are about 5e compared to Pathfinder because Pathfinder, you've got so much more, what would be the right word, customization yeah. almost. And you, you can do a lot more in-depth than whatnot. But like, you know, like d and is a big name. Everyone recognizes D&D. Yeah. And the problem is most people know how to play, play D&D. Play D&D, yeah. So it's like, we'll just play what people know how to play, you know? Uh. Nice. <laughs> I masturbate before a game. Every well, time. You know, sometimes you need to get that demon just like you. <laughs> you, know, you just gotta get the demon just like sometimes. I feel jealous of the rest of my group because they're all IRL friends. And whenever they build characters, they do co-interconnected backstories. Spelt that backstories, fucking backskitties. Backskit. <laughs> that's what kind of threw me off there. I was like, backskitties. Backskitties. <laughs> it's almost adorable. <laughs> Maybe we back skinny. <laughs> like <that>. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know how to politely insert myself and try to join in, so my character always ends up having to stand on their own. Whenever I talk about it, it feels like I'm making mountains out of molehills. So I end up never bringing it up. That's kind of sad. Oh, back skinnies. <laughs> <laughs> he only wants to get back skinny with his friends. <laughs> <laughs> I cancelled game night yesterday because I had family visiting from out of town. Then I sent my wife and children to the family dinner while I stayed home sick. I just sat at home doing nothing because I was exhausted after three 60 hour work weeks in a row and just wanted a quiet relaxing night alone. I feel bad about lying but I need a little time to myself once in a while and I don't need anyone trying to make me feel guilty for wanting that. No bitch take your time off! Oh sweet. Yeah. Look. D and D isn't D and D isn't as important as your mental health yeah. and your body health. Take a sick day. I'm working. I'm working sixty hours a week. You know, no. I, take, three, take a sick day. Back to back. You know, by the end of that, you just fucked me. You just want to sit the fuck down. Just, just do sit down, have a beer, watch yeah. a movie, Easy. order a takeaway, and yeah. just chill out. Yeah, also, I'm completely behind that. Yeah, definitely behind that. Whenever I roll behind the screen for random encounters, I actually don't pay attention to the dice at all. I choose whatever encounter I think would be the most fun at the moment. I also like to make combats difficult and lethal just for the fun of it. My players have learned to hire mercenaries before venturing into enemy territory, so the NPCs can die in the front line in place of the party. On the other hand, I let the party use diplomacy or intimidation against many foes to prevent combat before it even starts. So I think it balances out. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, it's fine. I, I, not, not everything it makes down to dice, combat. It makes Not everything, you know, if it makes the game more interesting. And some, you know yourself if you're playing, people are rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. Some, sometimes gets... And sometimes, like, it's like, you fall asleep. Like, yeah. I could easily fall asleep at some games I've been at. Like, yeah. Because you could be rolling for hours and, and nothing, nothing happens. happens. And then it's like, oh, and then that's happened. And that happened. But it kind of just, yeah. sometimes combat does just devolve into... Let's go around in a circle. Okay, and, and everybody roll. <laughs> let's just all wheel on the thing, and then it's going to wheel on us for a time, and then we're going to wheel on it. Like, yeah. You know, kind of. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Be honest with you, I get that. I'm currently modelling a sexy skiven army. Do oh, that. no, stop it. Please don't Please. Make sexy lads. <laughs> I don't want sexy that man. One, I killed a character out of boredom. Game was going a little slow when players were talking too much. Two, I saved the life of that guy character multiple times because I liked how he was creative at fucking with other characters. Yeah, well, you know. That's fine. Yeah. It was, yeah. Three. As a player, I fudged some rules when other players slash GM weren't looking. Ooh, bad bitch. <laughs> Four. I borrowed the D&D 3rd edition manuals from one of my friends and wear out the shit out of them. I spilled some beer by accident over the player handbook and almost broke apart the spine of the monster manual. And Dungeon Master Guide. Now, Father, I dare you to forgive me. <laughs> sorry, I couldn't forgive you for breaking my books. No. Like, seriously. Buy your own goddamn no, books. I, no, sorry, that's for me. Unforgiven. Unforg I stopped playing with a couple of people at my local game store because I either hated interacting with them, despite them continuing to think I like them, and me being too much of a wuss to contradict that, and that one of the dudes is a wholesale autist. He won't shut the fuck up <laughs> about how I'm mixed. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I also favour people who play paladin and barbarian classes because they are my favourite. I suffer from that. See I know you play, do. See if people play the classes I like, I'm automatically going, yeah, you're, you're Yeah. Okay. 
I feel that people who play tabletop, specifically 40k, and a couple of other fantasy titles, but I don't know enough of the lore, i.e. to tell you who the fucking emperor was or they play a first founding chapter, let's say Iron Hands and don't know who first mammoth, See, I suffer that. I don't know anything I, about 40k. Yeah, and no, see, whenever I'm reading for, stories about 40k, I'm like, Aah! Yeah, Megan doesn't do anything with 40k. She tried to get into 40k, doesn't like it. Not, not for I her, bought so orcs. I mean, you did. You tried. I picked the wrong one because I'm such a slow painter. Yeah, it was a bad choice. I bought you. orcs. <laughs> I know. And also, you see, whenever it comes to any form of lore with Megan, it, you can just see the eyes. Just The only like, lore that I'm really fucking interested in is Middle Earth. That's it. Yeah, I would say so. To be honest with you, would be, that'd be the only one you <laughs> I could talk I could specialize in. Yeah, yeah. I could talk for hours about Middle Earth. Like, I forgot where it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a bit of a deal, but Sorry. anyway. <laughs> Off the setting in the most basic sense are either missing out or should go away. I also don't mind... Primaris, <laughs> Primaris, I know, I know for the case Infantry. Yep. Their vehicles suck ass, but the squads are cool. Anyone complaining about them needs to chill. Also, anyone who says, stop playing D&D as a suggestion, but gives no alternative systems or any other valid point, should go to the chamber. Yeah. Yeah. I regularly masturbate to characters I make and write erotic fan fiction about them. You send me some of that shit and I'll send it right over to Smart Fields. <laughs> so I up. also insert wifeys into every campaign I run. Ooh woo! <laughs> However, my fetishes are oftentimes obscure enough to not raise any red flags. Like how obscure do they have to be for no one to notice? I don't know. It has to be good. I regularly masturbate to cultists, Chan. <laughs> I, 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 I assume a lot of people do. I like playing non-humans more than humans most of the time. I feel like I can do more interesting things with the design of non-humans too. Even when I play humans with vastly different backstories, in vastly different settings, I feel like I'm essentially writing the same handful of characters. I can understand that. Yeah, I can understand that. Although I do like playing as humans from time to time, and I like playing as, you know, I I, I know I'm quite bad for it. I like to play as humans, elves, dwarves. I'm not the most... Yeah, but I I feel like if you're playing a fantasy game... You know, fully immerse yourself. Be something that you can't. Yeah. You can't be. Can't be. Yeah, definitely. I would agree. Shame. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard not to. Everybody needs to do ten Hail Marys, and your confessions will be fine. They'll be absorbed. Your sins will be gone. No, don't worry. In the eyes of the Lord, you're fine. Uh, Clark Neckbeard, I uh, absorb you of all sins you've committed. But no, if you guys like your own confessions down below, we might do a wee video. Yeah. I really enjoyed this. I thought some of the bits were really funny, yeah. to be honest with you. And uh, I wasn't shocked when any of the cultist chant shit. And like, see boys and fudge the dice. Come on, we all know they yeah. did. We, we know what happens, but like, you know, we pretend it didn't happen. Tell me you haven't fudged your roll before. <laughs> maybe once or twice. <laughs> maybe, maybe once or twice. I'm not, I'm not, like, I'm not a perfect Shame! Person. <laughs> Well, look, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, all the other good shit, and we'll see you in the next video. And confess. Bye! Confess! <laughs> confess! All done.